oh flip. So this shows the lowest and the highest and what temperature it is now in the last 24 hours. And it was minus three in here. Hopefully it was only minus three here because over here are all my seedlings. So over the next 24 hours, I'll see whether my seedlings got frosted last night or not. I forgot to light the stove, the heater, bugger. Anyway, hopefully all my work of seedlings will um, not result in them dying. <laughs> Minus three is not warm is not seedling weather. So that's a big oops. Anyway, I've got to start straightening this place up to prepare the big tanks for my tomatoes at some stage. But I'm gonna to have to remember to light that yoke tonight over the next few nights at least because I don't want that to happen again. Hopefully it's here and it's just close to the door. What? 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 Really? Yes. My plants could have done with your wooliness to keep them warm. My baby seedlings. Okay. Come on. Let's go do other things. Yes. And the pear tree, or as I call it, the papple tree, is about to burst into bloom. Look at that. The blooms are coming. This tree soon will be humming with pollinators and bees. They absolutely love this tree. So I've propagated it and taken cuttings so I'll be planting more of these for early pollinators. And my dahlia bread, I've taken its blanket off. So we'll see in the coming weeks if uh, the dahlias survive the winter. I mulched it well, and then it had this blanket over it. And then these frames were to keep the blanket from blowing away. And ebony, is calling and the dogs are playing. <laughs> loverly bit, you're looking loverly. You are growing so huge. You're being well fed by your mammy. <laughs> and you're turning your backside to face me. <laughs> <laughs> 